Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Laninga Goe. Thank you so much for joining me again today on this channel. Today, you know such topics I normally don't want to ramble a lot because um, most of the time when you are suffering from acne, you just want um, somebody to get straight to the point. And I understand I was once there. So I have been an acne sufferer for a long time, but luckily enough, I just beat acne. And I only nowadays just get a few pimples due to various reasons here and there. But I used to have like full-fledged acne. So today I'm going to talk about um, how you can prevent acne scarring or how you can also lighten acne scars. So if you already have acne scars, I'm going to talk about that. But if you haven't developed acne scars and you just have acne, I'm also going to talk about that. And let's just get into the point. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I post content that is very useful and I post three times a week. So let me just get it straight into the tip. You need to know that I'm not a dermatologist. Definitely seek dermatological advice um, for your skin. But if you just want like natural tips from a tried and tested, um, from tried and tested methods from people who have actually suffered the same problem, of course our skins are different, but definitely you can get or pick a few things from these tips. Uh, so these are tips that I've actually tried and tested and they have stood to be true. So the first tip that I'm going to give you is one that is intended to prevent acne scarring. The keyword here is prevent acne scarring. So if you do have acne, kindly do not do the following things. Picking on your pimples. I know they are there. They are irritating. Like this one of mine is here and it's irritating. But avoid touching it. The first thing you should do is avoid touching it. Just don't touch the acne pimples. Don't touch the pimples. I know it's difficult, I know it's tough because you just want to test like at what point, at what stage they are in, if you know what I mean. That is, have they just started out or are they about to disappear or are they ripe? Don't touch them. Don't test. Don't touch them. So that's the first thing that's going to prevent your acne from forming scars. Don't touch your pimples. Secondly, and not only will that, um, if you keep on touching them, you're going to transfer the bacteria that is in those pimples to other parts of your face that do not have the pimples. And then you're going to get pimples there. You get the point. Don't touch the pimples. Secondly, don't pick them. Poking them with needles or squeezing them with your fingers, pressing them, busting them with anything, whether it's your fingers, whether it's a needle, whether it's a friend's needle, don't bust them because you're going to remove the, the stuff that is inside. And that stuff has bacteria and definitely it's going to transfer to the rest of your face, as I've said. And not only is it going to transfer, but that busting or that picking or that poking with a needle normally causes it to form a scar. Yes, whether you believe me or you don't, it causes it to form a scar. And that's something that is true and tested and researchers have known and found that picking on pimples and poking them and busting them apparently when they are ripe causes scars. So if you don't want those acne scars, don't bust your pimples. The second thing that I'm going to tell you in order to prevent acne scars from forming is actually to, pre to stop using physical abrasives or rather scrubs, face scrubs that you know, the, the ones that have grit in them, okay, it's not grit, but you get like, like the common face scrubs that even me I use. The ones that have, um, you know, walnut shells, oatmeal, you know, the ones that work by scrubbing your face, those face scrubs. Don't use them because they normally aggravate the skin and they bust the pimples in the process. Definitely, it's going to make your situation worse and it's going to make your skin worse and it's going to form, make your skin form scars because you're, you know, you're actually busting those pimples physically. As I said, anything that involves busting the pimples physically is going to form scars. 
So if you don't want to have scars, acne scars, do not use an abrasive exfoliant. You may use a chemical one, but don't use a physically abrasive, commonly known as face scrubs. Don't use face scrubs. They're going to scar your face. Okay, now we move on to the how to lighten your scars or how to make them, you know, less standing out. Eh? So the first tip that I'm going to give you if you want to lighten your acne scars is actually to use lemon juice. You know, we are not here for laser treatment or very expensive methods because most of us in the world actually cannot afford those treatments. So um, we have to use like affordable and also it's not worth it, especially these creams that they normally tell people to purchase over the counter. Some of them do not work. So it's just best to use something that you know will work and is affordable and you can maintain it in the long run. And lemon juice is one of them. So what you can do is just squeeze the juice of a lemon and apply that lemon on your face and it's going to lighten the acne scars. Actually apply it on the area that you want lightened because lemon juice has been known to lighten even scars. So make sure that you apply it on the areas that you want to lighten. The acne scars that is and then it's going to naturally lighten those scars and make sure that you rinse off the lemon juice after use because you cannot use lemon juice <laughs> and leave it on your skin it's going to burn your skin and it's going to you know it has like a bleaching effect on the skin so it's going to really affect your skin don't leave lemon juice and it has a high ph so don't leave it has like it's acidic lemon juice yeah it's not a high ph it's actually a low ph it's acidic so do not leave it on the skin for long it will affect the ph of your skin so make sure that you rinse it off after 30 minutes you leave it on the skin for about 30 minutes and then you rinse it off that's going to lighten your acne scars and you can do this even three times a week every week and you're going to see results it's better than going to get a cream that gives you false hope okay the next thing that i'm going work. to tell you is actually to use tomato juice and similar to the lemon juice you have to squeeze out the tomato juice in this case it will be a pulp so apply that pulp on your scars leave it on for about 30 minutes rinse it off and then apply your moisturizer and just like the lemon juice, it's going to lighten your acne scars. And these are actually tried and tested and true methods of lightening acne scars. So don't despair. Don't say that you, you need a lot of money. Uh, don't be sad. Don't be frustrated. There are natural products that actually work. And these are products that actually work. They are not just, you know hearsay or mythical things they actually work so make sure that you try out the lemon juice or try out the tomato and good luck with your lightening of your acne scars and don't pink or pick on your pimples don't poke them don't bust them however tempting it is even if you have a date the same day don't bust your pimples so thank you so much guys for watching I'm going to see you in my next video that I normally post three times a week and I hope that you're staying safe and staying well and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!